Golly. Oh, right there. Oh, my gosh. Well, welcome back everybody. This is Tyler Berger with Bass Fishing HQ. Today we're going to switch it up a little bit. Going back to my roots. Way back in the day of creek fishing for smallies. And I'm really, really hoping today that we'll be able to get some on a little plopper. I don't know why, but I just feel like I'll be able to maybe get a couple big ones and buy it. So, got about a mile stretch we're gonna work biggest problem of the day is that i don't have waders so it's the fall this water's cold this will be kind of cold but it could be worth it if we catch a couple big ones so let's do it oh my gosh it's cold it's cold it's cold, but it's all right. All right. Close quarter fishing today. Holy cow, you talking about cold water. Good night, you missed it. You missed it twice. Holy crap. That made me a little bit warmer there. So we're not about five casts in today. We just had a good one blow up and miss that bait. I don't know why he missed it, but come on fish, come back. Oh we got it that time. Good night. Golly. He came back and got it. Golly, that was sweet. Oh, yeah. Come here, fish. Oh, here we go. Woo. Look at that. Crushed it. First creek smiley of the day. Crushed it release holy cold balls Woo. little look at that it's like a daggum little point for me oh holy cow Holy frick, that was big. You got it. Oh my gosh, it's a good one. Oh my gosh. Good. Heck yeah. Come here, fish. Oh god. That's a solid, solid fish right there. That's gotta be a two and a half pounder. Woo! Golly, he crushed that popper. He missed it the first time. Both those fish missed it the first time. Come back and got him right after that. Solid, solid fish. I mean, this is a small creek, and that's a two, two and a half pound fish right there. Just let him go. Now what I'm targeting here is just these outside river bend holes. Anywhere you got a little bit deeper water, seems like a lot of times that's where these fish hold. And you know, most of them are no more than four or five foot deep, but 
Now these fish will get shallower. They'll get much shallower to feed. But we're, I mean, it's the middle of the day right now. And so I'm kind of targeting these holes because I know that's where they're going to be sitting for the most part. And it's clear water. This water's actually about as clear as I've ever seen it. And, uh, well, so far, I'll take Jump. Oh gosh, something just hit me. Who oh, guy? That is why you need waders. I mean, something plumb just run into me. I don't know what the freak that was. But what I do know is there's big snappers in this little creek. I do not want to tangle with one of them. No, I do not. Now this might be impossible with the plopper, but we're gonna try it. Oh gosh! Golly! Oh. Woo Look at that. Another solid, he came up there and nailed it in all those leaves. Look at that. He's hooked pretty good. I was literally popping leaves for you and he come up there and crushed it. Look at that. What a beautiful fish. That fish literally, I threw it around all those leaves and I was popping it through and he came up on it like a shark. All I saw was his head. I kind of wish I had a frog. Oh gosh. I just saw one follow it. Look at the dust cloud he kicked up. You see that? Let's see if he hits it this time. Come on, baby. There he is. He got it. He got it. Oh God! No, oh. golly! Oh. Look at that! Saw him the first time. Literally, just get spooked behind the bait, and he made a big dust cloud. Oh gosh! Another good fish. Look at that. This is amazing. Gosh, he missed it. Jeez. Oh, he missed it again. Come on, fish. He's right there. Oh my gosh, he's right there. He literally was right there. That was a good one. Golly. Oh my gosh. Holy. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was incredible. That's a good fish. Holy crap. Don't you jump. Don't you jump. Come here. Come here. Oh God. Look at that. <laughs> right there. Golly. Right there. That fish hit that bait about four or five times before he got it. Look at that, that's a nice fish. I know it may be hard to tell, but those are solid fish right there. I mean, two plus pounds right there. Gosh, that was fun. Absolutely. Incredible. If you guys have a small creek by you, don't be intimidated because there can be some absolute giants in them. They belong cast up there.
Oh gosh! Did you see that? Come on, baby, come back, come back for it. Got him! Oh gosh! God, that's a giant! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, dude. Oh God. That is a freaking nice fish. Oh gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. They love that plopper. Just a little plopper. Just a little one. Crushing it. Absolutely crushing it. That's another solid fish. <laughs> you know, it, it, a hole might only be four foot of water in some creeks, and here it's probably about six or seven foot right through there, and that's where these fish stack up. And it's, it's so much fun. Seriously, usually what I use, my number one bait is probably just a, a red crankbait of some sort. Uh, you know, these fish are chowing on, you know, crawdads primarily. But a smallmouth is such an aggressive fish that it's going to hit a topwater bait. And as you can see, they crushed it today. So much fun. I just want to do it. I just want to keep catching them. Hey, guys. Please don't forget to like this video, share it, comment on it, whatever you want to do. Tell me your favorite fishing, your favorite creek fishing lure. Uh, like I said, and if you haven't tried a little plopper in these creeks, so much fun. Which one?